make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're tuned into this hit that subscribe button and shout out to boulevard fashions you know if you need that custom drip they the ones to holler at you know now we we're gonna get back into it you know and it's crazy because you know i've been talking and i've been talking and i've been talking each week about this certain individual and tonight I'm going in on you cause you violated you lied you lied so right there the loyalty and trust is gone slice that out grab 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 the knife Grab the grab the get grab the knife and slice that out. Right? That's gone. Right? So after you violated on the loyalty and trust, finito. So you might as well forget about the commitment. I don't even want you around me. Because you 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 disloyal. You're not to be trusted. You conniving. You a snake. You do anything. For the dollar. Anything for the clickbait. Anything to put your name in the lime life. And it's sad. It's honestly sad. And the reason why I say this is because, for one, all you got to do is entertain the people. Give them, give them what you got. You got you got you got hitters over there. But you 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 consistently lie. And this lie I really didn't like. So anything that's coming out of whack 100 camp, I don't wanna hear. I don't wanna hear no liars. I don't wanna hear no snakes. I don't wanna hear no deceiving motherfuckers people from over there for real I don't want to hear no none of that because you violated you you, you you put out an accusation and said try to throw smuck on my man nip name try to break up the rolling 60s and I ain't, I ain't from Cali, so I'm not taking no sides. But I see that I see what you're doing. You you on the divide and conquer tip, and you try to take my man out by putting out these accusations and violating, saying you had a tape of him doing some 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 things that real soldiers don't do, or whatever, whatever however you want to put it. So, after you lie and it come to find out Big U said it wasn't no tape. And I'm glad Big U came up, stepped up and said, said that. Because that's all I wanted to know. You know, it shouldn't have to take for him to keep poking the beer for you to say something. I feel like you should have been saying something a long time ago, Big U. But you stepped up, you finally said something. And he said there's no tape at all. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear nothing else about from you, Wet. You definitely deserve where you at with a camera right there. Smack the back of your neck. Get yourself together. You're a disgrace to yourself, your community, your your your, your family. Your, 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 your associates you you are this you, you you're a scum of the earth you're a douchebag a a a a a a, 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 a misomizer you yeah you you're done i don't want to hear nothing else for you you get a double smack in the back of your neck cuz you violated and you call yourself a gangster you got me you, you got me spitting in the camera. I'm so disgusted with you. 
you volley. They say you, you lay on the bed naked and talk to people on Clubhouse. Use a disrespectful, trifling, ah, what, what type of, what, 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 what goes through your mind when you're naked on Clubhouse talking to people? And, they, and, and, and then they put it out, and you go on Clubhouse. Yeah, I was on your show, because I wanted to hear what you had to say for, for, for talking with your, with, your, with, your, with your ass out. <laughs> to, 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 to other males <laughs> with your feet up. Like it's cool. The picture was out. They put it out there. You violated. You was butt naked with your feet up. Talking to other men. Then you try to throw smuck on my man nickname. And, and yeah, man, you a violator. You violator records. Like Buster Rhymes in them. You in the way dot com. I don't want to hear it. So, you do. This was like the ultimate thing for me. And the thing about it is, this world is so corrupted and so polluted. They gonna let a sucker MC like him back in entertainment. Oh, it's whack. He does. That's what he do. No, that's not what you do. That's not what we do. You don't lie. And throw dirt on people's names. You doing stuff. You, I say you worse than. I can say you really worse than Kanye. Because at times, at least, at least Kanye give you some game when he going on his on his rent. Some of his stuff be true, but you, all false accusations. You just, you just, you just, you, you constantly lie and lie and lie and lie and lie until it's like you, 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 you lie so much, bro. It's like you just, you, you, you will be like, oh yeah, um, on Pyro, I was with Michael Jackson smoking crack. On the balcony, with my, on Pyro, on Pyro, I was, I was, I was there, and my Madonna was right there, and and Mike Tyson was right there, and he sucker punched Michael Jackson in the face, and then you had the battle of the two mics. You you just make up a whole story, and and we be like, well, how I be like, well, where did you get this information from? Where, what? How do we know this is violated? So everything, um, everything that comes out of his mouth is, 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 is a tactic, a marketing strategy. You know, he bigger, he he more bigger than a fluke than the Super Bowl. If you ask me, for all these years, I've been thinking the Super Bowl been paying these stars, and they ain't getting paid. That shit fucked me up. I mean, it really did. And excuse my language, but it's the hood. I got to say what I got to say. It really messed me up inside. So, when Michael Jackson popped out of the screen and popped up on top of the, uh, 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 on, on top of the, on top of the, on top of the big screen draw, you mean tell me he didn't get, and then popped on the stage on some Undertaker type stuff? You mean to tell me he didn't get paid? Dang, that's that, that that that's 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 a shame, man. That's that, that that's really a shame. So everybody that come on that stage is all doing that for a look, yeah, for a look, people. And got got I be goddamn if I gotta make my life miserable to get a look. To do a check, I feel like this is why all these stars is going on strike. You paying, you paying them seven twenty five McDonald prices, while y'all collecting billions. 
that don't sit well with me, NFL. It don't. And I think, cause I, 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 I'm the, I'm the people's champ. I really believe that we need to come together as as one. Not just black people, not just white people, as one. I'm talking about as one. Chinese, Indian, Asian, whoever. We need to come at we need to come together as one. Whoever's playing in the NFL. We need to come together as a people and strike for that, bro. Because we ain't getting paid. We need to stop making. See, when you when you make it a race thing, when you make it a race thing, it's like it's like a just a confusion thing. That's all it is. When race get thrown in a race car, it's like a confusion thing. By this time, we should all be over. We've been on this earth too long to be arguing about colors and races and, 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 and who's this and who's that. At this point, if 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 a comet come down in the sky and they say that drone gonna destroy the whole earth, it ain't gonna matter what race you are. If you ain't Goku, Super Saiyan Five. We ain't going to be alive, player. So, what, like, we need to cut all this race stuff out, man. I, I, I'm getting tired of the race car being played, and I'm getting tired of being talked about. The more you talk about it and bring it up, the more it's still going to be a thing. So, I feel like it don't need to be discussed. It need to be put, it need to be put into the coffin and nail it down. Because at this point, we, we we beyond that. We got phones that we could we could we, we could we could do anything on this phone right here. You could talk to you could talk to somebody from China, Canada. You ain't been able to do all. You could do it back then, but it was uh, took a lot. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we we got to get together, man, and, and stop playing people and wake up. It's bigger than Nino Brown, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got to do the right thing like Spike Lee and get this thing right. Seriously. We got to. We got to. And we keep going the way we going. We going to end up in a World War IV and they're going to bomb all of us. And it ain't going to be no more hoods. It ain't going to be no more no more making my way downtown motherfuckers. Or none of that. Nobody's not going to be able to go to Beverly Hills to the Bahamas, or to the, your little private islands, or none of that. You're going to be deceased, finito, dead, floating with the fishes, gone. Yeah, you, you got whacked, basically. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm going to take a break, and we're going to be right back, right here on Hood Politics, brought to you by Stereotype Radio.